So here is how to book an insurance appointment without them flaking. Right now, are you tired of everyone saying, hey, call me back at six or call me back at three. And when the appointment comes up on your calendar, you're so excited. You feel like you've locked them down. You feel like they're gonna show up and then bam, no show. You call them three times, no answer. But you've thought you've done everything that you've needed to do. You've thought that you've said everything you've needed to say to get them there. I want to share with you how I help that I have over 50, 60% of my appointment show up when I tell them, hey, John, I'm going to be calling you here at six. You know, John, if I do this, this, and this, will you be there? And I'm going to share with you exactly how I changed my frame, how I went from being an insurance agent who was just letting people off the phone when no one was showing up. I was not able to get any of my appointments to be there, and I was frustrated. So what I want to share with you first is the frame of the appointment. One of the biggest things that you need to understand is that the reason why they're not showing up is probably you didn't didn't set the tone right. You didn't set the frame right of why they even need to show up. Why would someone show up for something that's going to be painful? Why would someone want to show up for someone who doesn't sound good? Why would someone want to go ahead and show up to an appointment or a date, let's call it, when it's a crappy restaurant that you know you're going to eat? You probably won't. So what is the frame of the appointment? One of the biggest things that I needed to understand is that I am more valuable. My time is more valuable than the client's time. So I want you and I realize that I am never going to sound needy. When you set an appointment, you're never going to be like, John, what is the best time for you um, so I can call you back? John, what is the best time where I can call you and we're going to take care of this? John, what does your calendar look like? Let me get back on your calendar. Completely wrong. When you, when you, when you give power to the client, they're never going to show up. The person who has the most power is the person who speak pers- uh, typically speaks less. Or for example, if you ever dated someone, the person who doesn't text back so fast or who isn't as needy is typically the person is liked more. Because the reason is the more needy you are, the less power or value that you will portray. And the goal of setting the frame is that you're powerful, that you know how to help people, that your time is very valuable. Now you need to communicate this over the phone to the client so they're more likely to show up. Let me explain how you do this and why it's important that you do it this way. John, I am just super busy. Now, now, now John, let me ask you this. Is this something that's really important to you? Would, would you actually need my help? Would you actually need my help? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I would need your help. Okay, John, well, if we can't knock it out right now, my calendar is super tied up. I can try to squeeze you back on, on my calendar, but I only have like a 15 or 20 minute window later at 6.30 or later at 5.30, but I'm, I'm just super busy. Would you want to get back on my calendar, John? Yeah, 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 John. Yeah. And John's gonna be like, yeah, let's do that. Okay, John. But before we jump into this, let me ask you, is there any concerns that you have from now and until 2.30 when we have our appointment that you want to go over before we get there? Oh, well, I don't know if it's the price. I just want to look at it. I want to think about it or talk to my wife. Okay, John. And then you can objection handle before you get there. The goal is to handle all the objections before you get to the appointment. The appointment is really just to finish off or solve that final problem. But what I want to share with you, what I just did there, and what you need to do is you need to have the power. You need need to be the person who portrays scarcity. John, I am so busy. I am so tied up. I only have about one appointment here later this evening. Do you want to get back on my calendar? John, before we have this appointment and then when he book it, he picks the time. John, before we you know, pencil this in on my calendar, I just want to make sure, is there going to be any reason that you wouldn't be able to make my appointment slot here at 3.30 this evening? If so, just, just John, please let me know. I'm just so busy. I get all these requests from all these seniors and I just don't want to tie up a spot who, for someone who's not serious on, you know, on, on serious on getting this taken care of. Would there be any issues of you showing up there at 6 or 3.30? Would there be any issues, John? No, they really want. Okay, John. Well, I just want you to know, um, you know, you're important to me. I want you to know I'm going to take care of you. But ultimately, I just want to make sure that you know, when when we have this appointment, that we're able to actually solve your problem. Is that going to be any issues for you, John? No. And that's exactly how you book an appointment over the phone, and create scarcity, create value, create that you're going to help them and get this person to be more likely to show up on the phone compared to how not to book the appointment. Let me just give you the comparison. John, can I, what's a good, hey, call me back, Peter. John's gonna say, call me back, Peter. Okay, Um, John, okay, when when can I call you back? When's a good time? I'm gonna look through my calendar here and I'll get you right back on my calendar here, partner. What's a good time for you? Oh, six o'clock, cool, cool, cool. I can call you at six, 6.30, um, eight o'clock, whatever's best for you, John, I'll be there. Ah, six o'clock, okay, John, cool. Well, I got you on six. I will talk to you at six, my friend. All right, sounds good, bye. No value, no no created of scarcity, no reason for him to show up. And one thing I'm going to leave you with this little tip. 
if you're ever giving someone numbers, if you're ever giving, you know, if you're going into, depends on where you are in the sales presentation, so this is a non-generic way to book an appointment, but here's very, very, very important for you. Let's say you get someone some numbers, you give them some quotes, or you know there's an appointment coming up and you can feel he's like, call me back, call me back. Don't give him the quotes. Don't give him anything to look forward to. Because if you give him numbers, then he's gotta be like, okay, he's gonna run some numbers back and you're gonna be good. But let's say when you're like about to give him some numbers, he's like, call me back. Perfect, John. Well, I got some really, really good news. You booked the appointment. Okay, John, when's a good time to get back on my calendar? X, Y, and Z. Got to gotcha, John, I'm really, really, you know, tied up. I'm really busy. Would you know 4 30 or 5 30 work better for you? Okay, 5 30, double confirm the appointment. Okay, John, just want to confirm that 5 30 appointment slot. I am super tied up. If you can't make it, is there any reasons you wouldn't be there? No. Okay, John. Well, I got some good news for you here. I want to give you this little special thing here. At 5.30, it looks like you should be eligible for this special package here that is only available for seniors. Wow, wow, this is looking really good. And, and 5.30 still works for you, John? Okay, good. At 5.30, I'll let you in on kind of what's happening here. This is actually probably going to save you a ton of money. This is looking so awesome. I'll see you at 5.30, John. Got to go. Take care. Bye. And then you have left him with a cliffhanger. You have created value. You've created scarcity. You have double confirmed the appointment. You have told him that you, you know, your time is valuable. That you got to run here. And ultimately, you let him let him with a little treat. Oh, there might be a reason why I could show up here. This might actually help me, or there's a special thing that actually might put my life in a better position. This meeting might actually benefit me. So now I have actually a reason to show up. And the reason people are not showing up is because you're not creating enough value in your call. They don't feel like they can trust you. There's no reason why they need to show up. And ultimately, they're they're not wanting to go on a bad date. And if you can create the frame of creating a positive interaction or creating a, a situation where it's going to be super viable for them and the date is going to be amazing. Let's say you have the hottest guy or girl at the end of that in that, in that chair, that you're going to the best restaurant, that you're going to drink the best wine, that you're going to have the best atmosphere, and you're going to have the best solution to your problem. What are the odds that person shows up? probably high, that's how you solve, or that's how you book an appointment without them flaking, selling final expense, or life insurance or the phone. Hope this helped. Let's get it. Cheers.